I don't even know what time it is. Uh, not too late, but I mean, holy crap. It's been like eight, nine hours. My legs hurt, my feet hurt. Tired. Like I said, this is like day 11, 12, I don't even know in a row. I signed up for this, yeah, and I have no regrets, but I am friggin' beat. It's not the work that I'm doing each day. It's just the accumulation of the hours per day, every single day. That's what's getting to me. And, oh, no days off, I'll be back here tomorrow. I have a few, a few more boxes to organize, but I think for just like generic team cards that I was, here, let me show you. So like I said, here's the San Francisco Giants, here's the San Diego Padres, Los Angeles Dodgers. You get the picture for all 30 teams minus the Red Sox because they'll have their own bin. Right now I have one, two, three, four, five per uh, league, American League and National League. So what I basically plan on doing is maybe getting another, maybe like half a box and just kind of touching up on these gaps right here, you know, gap, 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 just to kind of fill it out just a little bit more. Either that or I could kind of spread the cards out a little bit, which I probably would rather do because that Ikea case per shelf can only hold 30 pounds. And a box of cards doesn't weigh 30 pounds. I, would, pff, I mean, I don't know exactly. Maybe like 20, I think. 15, 20. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. And then there's 10, 10 boxes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. M's in my bank account. Anyways. And there's four. Now let me just bring you over here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. Four shelves per row. And then obviously it would be like you know, National League, National American League. And then there will be two boxes of the American League up here. Probably one on one here. And then one on the other end. And then here in the middle, I'll have Kim. Eh, let me get in here. Cricket me two signs. One saying like, I don't know, each card is like a quarter or 50 cents or however much. And then, you know, 10 will cost this. 25 uh, cards will cost this. You know, just to kind of incentivize people to buy more and then this one I don't know what'll go there. So yeah, there's the uh, the update for today. I am heading home need to shower uh, Just want to lay in bed watch some YouTube kind of like what you're doing right now and then just Hopefully knock out but uh, we're done for the day be back here tomorrow and Tomorrow we'll get more work in. Bang! Finally got it done after hours of working on it. Holy smokes. So let me run this by you real quick. Jesus. So I, I didn't, al I did alphabetize it by division. So American League East, Central West, National League East, Central West. And I did it from right to left for some reason because when you look at a map, uh, specifically a baseball map, Usually the eastern division's in the right side, obviously, because that's east, central's in the middle, and then west is on the left side, because that's where west is. So that's what I did with these boxes originally, but then I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't really like that. So what I did is I organized it alph alphabetically by team within the league. So all the American League teams are in order, so hey, let me see if I can bring you in here. So here's the Baltimore Orioles, then Chicago White Sox, Cleveland Indians and then back there's the Detroit Tigers. I'm gonna have a sign here. I'm gonna have a sign here And then it goes to Astros Royals. Obviously, this is more Tigers stuff So that's how I ended up Organizing it and I actually do like it like last second. I was like shouldn't I just organize it by Alphabetically by team across all baseball. So just regard uh, League and I was like listen. I'm not doing this anymore. So now what I want to do is one of two things, maybe three things. One, organize the 
organize the football hollows, um, sleeve them up, and then put them in a, a box for this table. Two, I got some bubble mailers here for like some mystery grab bags. I need to kind of figure out what cards I want to go in that. I also want to try to figure out the ratio of price and how many cards per and like what's inside. So is it going to be like 10 cards for five bucks or whatever? It's like low risk, high reward kind of situation. Uh, do I make it, you know, cheaper and have more cards? Do I make it like, you know, $8, 10, I just, those kind of questions. And then lastly, I want to try to organize all these Red Sox commons right here. I want to put this in alphabetical order by player. It might not be too bad. Cow. This cow. This cow. Because a lot of them from the older sets that I just went through kind of already had them in order. So I just like a bunch of Roger Clemens cards, a bunch of Mike Greenwell cards, a bunch of Jim Rice cards are already alphabetized. It's just the newer players is what I'm gonna have struggle with China. All right, there goes Bogarts, Bogarts, Clemens, Bogarts, Buckle, just like, you know, trying to figure that out, right? So that's kind of on my to-do list today. <sighs> um, I don't know what else I really have planned for today. Uh, I think that might just be it, to be honest, but if I come across anything or do anything else besides what I just said and planned on doing, I'll be sure to let you know. Everybody, 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 what is up? I, lighting is here. I don't know exactly what part of the video this is because of the trip that I took and I'm using a different SIM card so I'm not able to look at the previous video to kind of update you exactly where I'm at. So I'm kind of going into this blind. I may be showing you guys thing twice or whatever. If so, I'll just cut this out. If not, uh, we're just gonna roll with it. So jerseys are finally up. And then if you look here, cards are all organized. I believe I showed you this last time. However, it was organized alphabetically by league. So it'd be like American League, American League, American League, American League, and then National League, National League, National League. I just did all 30 teams, well, 29 minus the Red Sox, because Red Sox cards are over there. I am now left with an empty cubby right there, little weird spot. I did des uh, design these two to be empty on purpose, because I was gonna put like a, a sign here and a sign there. But now I don't know exactly what to do with this empty space. So I might move the boxes so just one's up there. Have a sign and maybe some memorabilia. Not exactly sure just of yet. Uh, shelves are finally up. Yeet. <laughs> I gotta stop with a yeet, I'm sorry. These cards are like college cards right here. Checklist cards. So here's a Greg Salas... Uh, Hawaii card, not an official rookie card, so I obviously doesn't matter too much. Here's just a kind of a trio of three Detroit Wed Wings. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Oh, here we got a nice little gold card. And then where's I know I got a ton of checklists. Hold on, Ugh. that's not where are my checklist cards? One hour later, here's a checklist card from 1989 Tops. So this is going to be like a 10 cent pile or whatever, or a 10 cent box. So just kind of surf through it if you wish. Here I've made a, a row of rookie cards that I don't want to say aren't good, but just like it's not like a, a Patrick Mahomes rookie or like a Tom Brady rookie. Like here's a, a Brian LeWerk. I mean, could he come, turn into something? Sure. DJ Foster? Sure. But like chances, I don't want to say a low, but I don't mind kind of giving, uh, you know, those cards. I don't want to say away because it's 75 cents a pop. But there's that pile. And then here is some cards that I've actually thought this was a really neat idea. And here are 19 packs of cards. I don't know, 91 football, 92 football, 19 opening day, 20 opening day. You get, you get the point. But kind of like wax, right? There's 19 packs in here, so the first 19 people on opening day to walk through the door and purchase something will get a free pack of their choice. 
Now obviously as the day goes on, packs are gonna be taken out. So whatever's left is what you have left to choose from. Uh, I think that's a really neat idea. I think it kind of helps bring people in the door and also kind of shows them a little gratitude, satisfaction, thank you for coming in. And then lastly, a pain in the ass was the shelves, getting the shelves up. They're 97.5% you know, in line with each other, equal. So that's where all the wax is gonna go, the sealed product, and then probably on that top shelf is gonna be some high-end expensive memorabilia. Uh, I have a Ted Williams signed bat that's probably gonna go up there. I don't know exactly how much weight those shelves hold. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to put way too much, but like, I, I don't wanna say a decent amount, but you know, some stuff that I'll rotate obviously, and then these bottom two will be the sealed product. And as time goes on and as I need to uh, evolve, you know, the shelf here, maybe all three will be filled with product and then I'll have to like go over over there for some stuff or whatever. You know, I'm very intrigued on where that's going to go. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. I do have a green turf rug right there that will be going here shortly. I just literally walked in the door. And then, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't know what to do with this 1800 tequila case that Kim wanted me to get when we were at the warehouse. But uh, it's been sitting here ever since we moved it in, my friend Adilson and I moved it in. No idea what to do with it until now. Well, maybe like a couple days ago. This is going to serve as a featured product display, right? So say the newest, you know, Panini Prism package comes out, right? Put a box right there. Obviously, you, this isn't for sale. You have to go to the, the, the counter right over there to get it. But, you know, Panini, a box of Panini Prism, say the latest Topps Baseball, there'll be a box of that. You get the idea. Maybe there's a, you know, a hot rookie out right now. So, for example, let's say, um, hmm. Davis Mills, right, quarterback out of Stanford. Say he takes off this year, just, or Kellen Mons. Though he's the backup for Minnesota, say Kirk Cousins gets hurt, got some Kellen Mond rookie cards, throw him in here, featured product, get him while he's hot, right? So that's what this is going to serve as, and then I'll probably update every week or two. Stuff's gonna go out, stuff's gonna come in. I'll have to find a way to kind of block this off. Uh, it's cool eight, being an 1800 tequila thing, but I don't really think I need it. So, that should have you fully up to speed. I know this is kind of a longer clip that's gonna be, you know, snip, snip. Verizon's coming today to do the Wi-Fi. I'm super excited about that. I'll be able to record Murph's Boston Sports Talk today. Super excited about that. And I'm just trying to make sure if that's everything. I'm gonna update as, you know, the day goes on, as the days go on, in addition to that. But that's pretty much everything that I can think of as of now. Uh, I'm really excited. Well, I just chugged water before I did that. Well, I'm out, man. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to see the shop really get even further and further progressed along. My town council meeting is on August 10th, which is Tuesday. Today's Friday, the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6th. I think today's the 6th. I don't know, let me check, hold on. One hour later. Yeah, today's the 6th. Four more days till that, then I get my license and I can officially open. However, pause. Pause. Uh, I won't be officially open on the 10th. I don't know exactly what date, so. Ah!